Perfect start to the year. We've just had to do a big old clap. Welcome back, Bedwetters. Oh, God, it feels good to be back. It actually really does feel good to be back. There's something about these chairs. There's something about everyone being in the room. There's something about you. There's, There's something, something about, about Mary. <laughs> you actually it's took the words bit. out of my mouth. Were you going to say that? I was going to say that. But there... You took the words out of my No, no, we can't start. We cannot start the year like this. So sorry. We've missed your Bedwetters. I really have missed being here talking shit for an hour and a half. I really have missed this. Have enjoyed being out and about bumping into bedwetters oh, in real me life. Too. But have missed sitting down here spinning yards. Have you had some good bedwetter interactions? I've had some rippers. Oh. I've had some absolute rippers. I had a group of 19-year-old girls Uber to Toddies because I was there. And started FaceTiming all their mates. Like, like do- we're like, whoa! Yeah, you FaceTimed me. Yeah, and then we FaceTimed you. It was the most wild thing I've ever seen. It was like, fucking awesome. Well, I just had a... So my interaction has been a little different. Uh-huh. I was on the escalators yesterday and a guy <laughs> recognised me. He just goes, piss off! <laughs> <laughs> and I just started laughing. And then I, I got to the top of the escalator and I was like, wait, was, was that aggressive? <laughs> I was like, was he? He's he had enough. The, and I was, the more I thought about it, I was walking down, like, getting some shit, and I was like, he wasn't smiling when he told me to piss off. So maybe he didn't, maybe he fucking hated me. He's, so, o- he's over daddy. He's over daddy. I'm daddy, by the way. You that you are. Uh, yeah, I've been running into a lot of good bedwetters. Shout Yay. out to Jacob Wood just because I had to write that in my notes because he said, you fucking better shout me out on the next podcast you do. Mine, seem, mine is seemingly a little more little aggressive, aggressive than yours. Mine- I, had a, I had a guy at the um, <laughs> my local alcohol shop who goes, low, bed for life. And he's like, I'll give you a fucking discount, mate. No way. Like 20% off the p- p- c- copious, a copious amounts of alcohol is buying. Yeah, okay. Procopious. Not procopious. A copious. Just copious. 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 Copious amounts of alcohol. Right. Well, I had one the other day. Oh, who, we just got to keep laughing each other. No, well, this is. I think it's the distinct difference between yours and my interactions. You're getting people coming to Ubering to the places you are just to get a photo with you, um, giving you discounts, free stuff. <clears throat> I had one the other day where he said, "Oi, fucking bedwetters," right? And I said, "Yeah." He got out of the car. He coward punched me, knocked me to the ground, robbed me, stole my wallet. Kicked me in the guts and said, "You ain't shit on that podcast, you fucking prick, yeah. Lulu the shit." Um, and then he said, "You fucking go back to Vaucluse, or I will come back yeah. over here, put you in a headlock, and shove this up you." Yeah. yeah, literally. Yeah. And he goes, "Why yeah. are you crying, you little bitch?" And he took a video of me crying. He goes, "I'm sending this to every single he he owns a modelling agency, uh-huh. all supermodels." And he goes, "I'm sending this to every single one of my clients." So they all saw the video of me crying on the. Did you? On the ground. Did you go home and cry again? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I set him up. Right. I paid him to do that. Okay. I, I wanted it to finally be our mean one. Right. I wanted to start the year right. <laughs> yeah. But you, you man, you're, you're a tough man. Well, Hard he was knock. limbless, so his punches didn't hold that much weight. Okay. And it, was, it took a long time for him to actually get away. Okay. Because he did not have prosthetics. Okay. Let me be very clear. <laughs> he was... <laughs> right. He was... Oh, okay. I not, think it... Quite the man I needed for. I think he was a formaldehyde baby. He was also 92. So. A what baby? <laughs> formaldehyde. Do you know that fucking thing? When was the formaldehyde thing, Dior? There was like a drug that they gave. Um, they're called formaldehyde babies. It was like a fucking... Is it thalidomide? Thalidomide is like a... Thalidomide. Oh, yeah. yeah thalidomide. Josh has got the word wrong. Thalidomide. Thalidomide was late 50s and 60s. Was yes. When, like the babies were being born and stuff. Yes, thalidomide. Fuck, pretty fucking close, crew. Not not spot on, though. Yeah, formaldehyde is like a gas that does stuff. So Good explanation. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a gas that does stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara, <laughs> Dior. Okay, no, it's used as a preservative. Yeah, Tom well, was right. It's yeah, used to for like hides. more true um, and stuff. A thalidomide. Yeah, I think he was a thalidomide baby. So that, they, it was like a fucking inner drug or some shit and then babies were being born with deformities. That's like when there was a man who went round <laughs> and put, he put in all the Panadols, he put some type of thing that killed everyone. Sorry? 
the, a man put heaps of stuff in in the Panadol packets that wasn't <laughs> Panadol, and he killed everyone. You know what I was hoping for? It was like for? The, the Panadol killer. You know what I was hoping for, Lou? What? I was hoping for a fresh slate. We'd done some research. We'd got better at our craft. We'd come back. We're fucking. We've done. We're back. I'm talking about fucking some aldehyde. The Panadol killer. <laughs> and the fucking Panadol killer. Oh. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh. Okay. Well. Anyway. Should I open this? Yeah. Uh, you guys know it was my birthday in November, right? <laughs> Yeah. Everyone was aware of it. I turned 30 in November. Lou's got more. F- we come back from the fucking holidays and she's got a present sitting on her seat. And Jarts tried to steal it, but it literally says Lulu Del Dint. Correct. It's from Cameron Chandelier. Diaz, Chandelier. It feels hard. I feel like it's, it feels like a jewellery case or something. Ooh, ooh, it looks like a fancy. It, this looks fancy. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a fucking fake Rolex? Cameron sent a fake Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it on, that dude. Dark. Show me that. Holy fuck, that's good, Cameron. Fuck, that looks real. Nice try, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck to the. Boy, I love how he would have gone to like Thailand or Bali or something and been like bedwetters. Oi, fuck you! That is the best one. I mean, give, give it here. I'm trying to open it for you, you ungrateful little fuck. I'm take this. There you go. Mummy and daddy. Like wow. Put it on. Okay. Put it on, you big old wrist. Put it on, you big old wrist, you big old wristy king. Okay. Yeah, someone looks good. I like how you can barely tell this is fake, but the fact that when you move the hand, when you move your hand, the hand's just... Willy nilly, around. just they've got no structure to it. Who them. needs the time when you look that good? Fuck, maybe I should get a Rolex now, though. I mean, look at that. It does look good. But then maybe I just keep this. Well, you could just, well, it's mine. That metal knob. It was, it, it was gifted to me. See, the Lulu Delden. Well, how about this? Jarchi Delden. So we know that you're not an ungrateful piece of shit. Uh, I think maybe you should swap th- this out because it is a present to you, you're right? It's a gift to you. Uh-huh. So I think you should probably maybe. Put this on. Swap it out. You want this one? You hand me that. Hand me that. Now you swap. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I don't trust you. Don't be disrespectful to the present. I don't trust you. You told me once you were going to rob me because I was wearing a Hermes bracelet. I'm not going to rob you. You, You're under my bed. I'm not. Just take that off. Put this on. Let's test it. This won't fit your wrists. It's fine. This is for the wristy queen. I know. I know. Not the wristy king. There you go. Okay. Perfect. I'm putting on the new rolly, everyone. Thank you. Here we go. All right, cool. Well, I will. See you guys later. <laughs> I am off to the pawn shop. Hey, why is it called a pawn shop, but it's spelt P A W N and not P O R N? Sorry. I had to come back <laughs> for that, that one because that? porn and porn are, di- are different. Because well, it's I not a shop full of. Okay. Fuck your wrist is tight. It's like a ring. Look how small her wrist is. Hey. This wrist does wonders, Jarch. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> it must be like a... Like a, a what? Your wrist must be like some gidgy wood. What's that mean? Like gidgy wood is used to like beat... Um, I think it's used to like you club fucking animals on the head. It's like cool. a strong wood, right? It's a thin, thin, strong, really dense wood, gidgy wood. That's what your wrist is like because it's so small, but you are, no, you profess yourself to be the queen of wristies. So you must have worked that thing so it's like a thick bit of gidgy. <laughs> you got a gidgy wrist. I've just got these muscles. I like <laughs> tense them and it's just like... <laughs> She's got that gidgy wrist. Okay, give it back now. No, no, this give is... Na- no, no, you've got your Rolex and I've got mine. Well, I'll just wear it on my three fingers. Three fingers. <laughs> hey, senorita, uh, now that we've covered a lot of very uh, highbrow gear... Yeah. Tell us about the uh, bloody engagement. Daddy's dropped the knee. Daddy, daddy had a dusty little knee. I'm daddy, by the way. Dusted it up. Knees were bruised. Finally, it was me instead of Steph for once. Hey. Um, excuse, excuse you. Get me. your mind out of the gutter. Now, I told you not <laughs> to speak those words. That's correct. Here, you can have your real rolly back. Thank you. Devastating stuff. Just lost 40 grand. <laughs> um, now, 
So bed wetters, I did I did dust the knee. Now I bloody so Steph loves Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Basically, she had told me that if it doesn't happen by the end of the year, it's over for us. So you thought, let's let's <laughs> let's do it. What eight days before the end of the year's over? Let's really like, push the boundaries. I was like, I'm going to teach her a little lesson about like let's push it to the, let's push it to the limit. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, no, basically, I wanted to do it a little bit earlier. But what I didn't realise, Lulu, I don't know if any other bedwetter knows this, but I suppose the ones that are married do. I didn't realise you just couldn't walk into a jeweller and get a fucking ring. No. Which to me is insane. Well, some you can, but like... But, but you've got to you pay gotta, extra yeah, dough, yeah, yeah. which, like, is what? Yeah. And so imagine going into a fucking shirt shop and being like, hey, bro, love that shirt, want it. He's like, absolutely not. You're like, why? He goes, can't have it. Pay us... Five thousand dollars more for the shirt, shirt, and you can have it right now. I'd really love it. I'm, it's sitting right there. I can see it. I can physically. I'm holding it. It's in my, it's in my eyesight. And he's nah, not today. You can have it in twelve weeks. So did you go in and go? Oh, and kind sir, at the jeweler shop. I will take that one. So, and he went, shove it up your ass. <laughs> Pretty sexist to assume that everyone that works in a jeweller is a man. It was a female serving me, Lou. So Jesus sorry. Christ, 2024 sorry, hasn't so changed sorry. a bit. So, I, Ella, Eddie's miso had kindly um, given me a bit of direction in, as to uh, yes. aesthetically what to fucking Otherwise do. Otherwise, you would have got like a fucking VB like can. It would have been a burger ring. This was about to say a VB can made into some type of like rock hard ring. Correct, just with a bit of granite. Yeah, correct. Here's your rock. Um, but I decided that I wouldn't and I'd try, I'd go for the diamonds. Apparently girls love them. Hey, you know what they say, Judge? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'd fucking want to be. Um, you so a bit devastated about the price of it? <laughs> nah. Yeah. Um, so I was like, radio. So I go into the shop, I'm like, mate, this is what I'm thinking, blah, blah, blah. She pulls it out. She's like, oh. Just gorgeous. Then you go in and they fucking give you a three-hour fucking lecture on the clarity and the fucking yeah. all this other you shit. you got to know what you're buying. And Clarity's like, a big one. I was like, mate, I don't know. Just give me mid-tier, high-tier, low-tier. How much is the low-tier, sister? <laughs> hey, you got, it, you got any lower than the low? Show me the low-tier, mid and high. <laughs> Next to each other, and I'm going to distinguish with her. from the naked eye. I can tell any fucking difference. Um, anyhow, so I said, "Beauty, yeah, nah, I like this one. I reckon she'll love it." I said, "Let's get that. I'll do that." She's like, "Okay, well, we'll source the diamonds." And I said, "Well, you've sourced them. They're sitting in front of me. I'm holding the fucking things." And <laughs> she's I'll like, "Take that home right now." Yeah, Thank she's you. like, "Not how it works." I'm like, "Well, I was kind of planning on. I wanted to kind of do this." On our fifth year anniversary, I was like, "That's perfect." You guys went to the Gold Coast. Yeah, I was like, "That." I feel like that feels yeah. right, which was in a few weeks' time. Yeah, and she's like, "Nah, buddy." She's like, "I think it was going to take sort of 10, 10 weeks," and I'm like, "Fuck me, swinging." So I'm like, "Okey doke." Well, that's out the window. <clears throat> so you're just getting closer and closer to the end of the year. Yeah, I'm just like, "Jesus, she's fucking." Like, she's like, "It's actually ready on the first of January, two thousand twenty-four." You're like, "Hey." <laughs> Hey, that can't fucking happen. I need it now. Yeah, if that happened, I already would have received the cease and desist letter from Steph. Uh, Get your shit, you're out. <laughs> so I fucking, the ring eventually arrives. And I'm so bad with shit, losing shit, forgetting shit. Mm. It, you know, just my brain, that's the way it works. I was like, holy dooly, I'm panicked about having this. But I'm like, but I'm going to be okay. I've just got to pick it up from the jewelry store, get it home. I'm going to put it in a place where Steph would never look. Where would you think that would be? In your man cave in that big Star Wars helmet. Close. Drill set. Not one, Steph has never picked up a drill in her life. Ne for no reason. She never had to. See, I, I would go that would be a bit nerve-wracking to put it there. Dude, let me tell you, maybe for you, Dal. Maybe because you've had to put shit together. And I love my drill. S Steph... <laughs> You know me, I'm always... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking love them. Steph hasn't touched a drill in her life. So I'm like, where should I put this guy up in the man cave? I see the drill set and I'm like, perfect. Yeah. That is actually perfect. Yep. Put the box in there, put some shit over it, blah, blah, blah. Drills back in, whatever. I go out on the town that night. Had something going on. I get back to the man cave, fucking pass out in my man cave, go to sleep, wake up the next morning. 
and all my drills are pulled out and not put back in. And I wake up and I, I'm like, I'm hungover and I wake up and I look and I go, the fuck? And I was like, did I? Because I got so blind, I was like, oh, I must have got home. Double checked it was And there. just got, had a look at it. Because I was quite excited about it, you know what I mean? I'm like, right? And I convinced myself that's what, that has to have happened. Because I was sort of wigging out going, mm-hmm. fuck me. But I'm like, what the fuck would Steph need my drills for? Like, no, yeah, no, nah, that's, I've obviously done that when I'm pissed. Anyway, whatever. Get up to Palm Beach. I, um, we go to the beach. I was planning on doing like on the beach where, because she loves Palmy, loves the beach. But then there was people around. I'm like, oh, nah. I'm not a public proposer. You want a, you want a private proposal. I, it's, it's, it's a you, you and you. Yeah, and, and I just would panic. I, like, I just panicked me a bit. I'm like, no, people you'd around. So, oh, you'd be so awkward. Yeah, even though she would, I don't know, maybe she would have been awkward too. So I'm like, fuck. And I've literally got the ring in my jocks. Mm. It's sitting in my jocks. And then she's like, let's so go for a swim. looks like you've got a cock. <laughs> Mm, yeah, a square, a block <laughs> cock. <laughs> I've got a block. Steph goes for a little fit. <laughs> yeah, that. I, weirdly enough, I was, was I was a bit happen. worried about that in that the drive. Well, oh. you, know, you never know. Oh. I actually was concerned about that, but um, <laughs> fucking, she's like, "Let's go for a swim." I'm like, "Yeah, after you, doll." And she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna go." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you in there." And I'm just sort of lying down. I'm like, "I'm just reading this or whatever," and then she's walking down the beach. I have to, with families and people, beach girls all around me, then put my hand down my pants like this while I'm looking around. And so I'm a fully grown adult male, half naked on the beach with his hand down his pants, pull the ring out, wrap it up in my shirt, put on the towel. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to do this? There was no people at the back of the beach. I'm like, okay, when I leave, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do it at the back there. Sand was too hot. was burning my little feet. So I was like, this is too much. This, is this sounds like an absolute disaster. <laughs> so like I'm the like, shittest <laughs> engagement of all time you painted. <laughs> sand too hot. It was the sand was too hot. We were going like this. <laughs> Why didn't you follow her in to the water? I'm fucking ringing the water with waves. Was my worst wavy? nightmare. Mm. You know what I mean? So anyway, we're in the car. I've put it back in the jocks. It's gone back in. Yeah, but I was worried. You decided not to do it then and there. Of course. But then so I then was, you've readjusted again on the beach. And everyone's going, I, who's this little sex addict over yeah, there? Correct, Amundi. I actually got reported to the police. It was not a good <laughs> weekend. Uh, so I get fucking in the car and that's when I was worried that mate, if she was feeling a little frisky, she'd be like, hello. And I'm like, if she does, I've got to literally go, no, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> get your hands off. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I'm not a piece. I did not ask for this. I'm not a piece of meat, woman. Back off. off. So we get back to the apartment. She's like, I'm going to put some makeup on, blah, blah, blah. We'll go for lunch. She's like, I don't really feel that pretty. And I'm like, and I'm, so she's like, I'm going to put makeup on, have a shower, freshen up. And I'm like, that's actually great. Because if she's feeling shit, I don't want her to feel shit and then like get, so I was like, great. So I said, I'm going to go wait out in the common area, have a drink and fucking just cruise. Then I'm thinking like, how do I fucking do this? I've got to do it. Mm. I know I've got to do it, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just running on the fly here. I'm like, do I set my phone up? So it's like, she can have that memory, but then I'm like. Do a TikTok dance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Will you marry me? <laughs> uh, I would rather cut my cock off than do anything of that sort. Perfect. So, but then I'm like, imagine if she walks out, she's like, ready for lunch. And then she'd be like, why is your phone set up? So I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I said, mate, just, just go with your heart. Just do what feels right. So then she's walking out. She's like, ready? I'm like, yeah, let's go. And then she's walking in front of me. And I was like, fuck it. And I pulled it out. And I go, oh, did you drop this? And then she turned around and I was on one knee with the ring out. And she goes, and we'd had a big night before, keep in mind. She goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I go, well, will, will you marry me? I'm sort of like, half light, like, will you marry me? And she goes, fuck, I'm way too fucking hungover for this. Um, <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, hey, buddy. Yes, I'm, was the I'm answer. I'm currently on one fucking knee, and all Are you've you? said is, oh my God, I'm way too fucking hungover for this. And then she goes, oh, of course, of course, oh. blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, good. Was this in the common area? This like was the in like pub? the of Baron Joey, of Baron Joey House in yeah. Palm Beach. So there's like a fucking common area up the top. Mad little um, water dragons mm-hmm. and stuff up there, like lizards. I love it out there. There's lizards everywhere. And then 
Uh, so I did it there. It was quite nice. We were by ourselves, and then it was fucking hilarious. These these couple come up just as we've done it. Steph sort of like crying, and fucking I'm sort of like all like you're, you're in a weird emotional state. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, what, what what do we do now? And they, <laughs> this couple walks up, and they're checking into the hotel, and um, so it was so weird. I'm like, well, should we go for lunch? She's like, yeah. And then they're sort of they're like, hello. I'm like, just got engaged. And then they just obviously didn't compute it, and th- they were just like. Um, so I think we're room eight, and I was like, <sighs> "Yep." Uh, <laughs> so then we walked Are you down. waiting for them to be like, "Oh my god!" No, congratulations, because I was like, "The this is not a normal <laughs> interaction to be watching two people." So I was like trying to justify why we were interacting like that. They didn't compute or didn't give a fuck. Just went on about. They're like, "Yeah, sweet, whatever." So we walked back down. Anyhow. It was fucking this bloke, we're like, mate, can we get that table at the front? Blah, 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 blah. And the guy was like, oh, mate, it might be booked. Let me just check for you. He's checking. And then we walk into the table and he's like, mate, how's the day going? What have you been up to? And I'm like, oh, we actually just got engaged. And he's like, cool. <clears throat> and then he starts moving the thing. And I'm like, there's no one. No one gives a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And then he's clearing the table. Like, he's clearing the table. Getting the- It was a four-seater table. He's clearing the other two placemat, whatever. He's clear, and he goes, wait, f- well, hold on. He goes, you say you just got engaged? I said, yeah, literally Finally. 10 minutes ago. He goes, holy shit, dude. He was like, I, I didn't even, that didn't even compute with me. He's like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh my God. And they were, they were great. They sent over champagnes yeah, and shit. And gave us a discount and all that sort of stuff, which was lovely. And then but, you just had to post a TikTok story of the... Yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for them. They, they, yeah, yeah they s- had to sign a contract and they. Yeah, <laughs> free meal. <laughs> Thank you. Just got engaged. Thanks so much. Yeah. Santa. But shout out to Banjo House. Thanks for looking after us. It's great up there. She loves it up there. Please. So that that's what we did. And then we had sort of like an impromptu like drinks the next day, which thank you to Eddie and Ella. They sort of that organized. That was fun. We had a good time. We had a big shindig. Um, it was a fun fucking. That was a fun day. And mate, then it's sort of been. Let me tell you, Lulu. I don't know about you. Well, I do know because we. We discussed it in the way of the, in the car on the way over. Uh, but I haven't exercised once, probably since mid-December. I have been fucking drinking uh-huh. I, so much, eating so much. I have been grogging so hard and that I was actually... Just, not even just like, oh, like out for dinner, like five drinks. No, no, like no. drinking from like 1 p.m. to like 5 a.m. Pussing it. Like 30 to 40 standards. Dude. <laughs> I don't know how everyone else's holidays have been, but this is like our first sort of week back. This is my first week of normality, and I was screaming for it. Same. I had, out of like 10 days at one point, like seven of them were massive nights. Yeah. Not even just like... Why 10 one. days in a row? Well, judge. What, what happened 10 days in a row? I went on a, I went on a date. For 10 days. And it didn't it didn't stop for ten days. <laughs> Lou had a ten day date. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that might be a record? <laughs> Dude, not even joking, Tops. Fucking she she fucking went on a date with this bloke who's a sick cunt. Really like him. Yeah. And the date didn't end for ten fucking days. It was like six days in and and you were like, We haven't we haven't left each other's side, like not even not an even hour. Like, not even, no, not even one minute. The only time that we left each other was when I had to go to Lily's birthday lunch and you and him went to the Rojo. Yeah, so I took over the date. He <laughs> came and met us for like three hours. <laughs> I, was, I was the intermediary date. I was like, don't worry, buddy, I'll look after you while, while Mama's gone. She's Mama, by the way. Everyone will find this, or the bedwetters will find this wild, how I like fucking hate affection. Yeah. Like... Strutting the bond, like, <laughs> strutting the Bondi promenade, like holding hands, <laughs> like full, of, like so touchy feely. <laughs> like what? <sighs> like you know, you try and hug me, and I go, yeah, it's yeah. very fucked. It's very fucked. Can I tell you? <laughs> a ten day oh, date is incredible. It's got to be. A re- I should actually call the Guinness World Records and check if that's a it's the longest date, first Hold date on. in history. I'll just DM them. Hey, hey guys, no, just a quick let me one. Just, let me just, I'll just type it out. G'day, Guinness Book of Records. Uh-huh. Ja, Jarch here. Jarch here. Um, are there currently any standing records, sorry, Guinness World Records, for a 10-day fuckfest? If not, please, please let me know. 
and get back to me promptly because Judge. I have a phenomenal contender in my friend, confidant and business partner, Louisa Claire Daldin. Yours sincerely, Judge. <clears throat> Send. Get your mind out of the gutter. Sorry? A 10-day FF. <laughs> Stop, is that F- what I said? Yes. I meant date. Thank you. Because you're not married. First, yeah, There'd first be no date. pre-marital coitus. A 10-day F- da- FD. First date. <laughs> 10 FD. <laughs> you know one of my mates used to have this thing called FDA. What do you think that stands for? First date anal. <laughs> Did I just you nailed that. You nailed that. Yes. Oh, do yours just put up on the screen? Their oh. first date was 204 days oh. long. Fuck. Fuck you. You ruined my chances. What's his name? Angu Thomas. You had 194 days to go. Ugh. But they're weird. Can I tell you what happened on the first day? Angie trying to do so. so we were at Watto but Actually, this happened... First day and then second day, we're at Watson's Bay having a few drinks, uh, and it's like my worst nightmare to like you know when you got to like blow your nose or like something you always like double check in the mirror or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've no. gone to the bathroom, <laughs> come out like I think I put some like mascara on, some lip gloss or whatever, and oh, I blow on my nose and then just like whatever with the toilet paper, <laughs> walks back out, <laughs> sat down. <laughs> He'd got another drink for me, and he was like. Um, you got a little something there. N- n- not a little something, Josh. <laughs> like the biggest piece of no. snot you've ever. Like it would have been. Like, no, no, Lou. Like it would have been like almost oh, at my lip. <laughs> oh my Don't you reckon God. they would have given you the ick straight away? Do you know what he should have done? He goes, hey, baby. Don't, you got don't. A little something there. <laughs> don't worry. I got you. Or grabbed it with his finger. <laughs> I just. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day we went to Camp Cove and we were just <laughs> there going for a swim and we were just like facing each other like laughing and he was like there is a ginormous okay. hair on your chin oh, and he, no. just, he just goes yunk <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> on your chinny chin chin <laughs> and then we were like it's crying gross. with laughter. What are you, the Billy Goats gruff? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. There was just so, like, I can't even, like, there was so many fucking funny oh. things that happened over those 10 days. Oh my days. I made Lou. him come for so many hot girl laps with me, like, stomps. And he was at, like, we went to Toddy's together. So he's. Do you reckon you got papped? <laughs> oh my god. I was like, Daily Mail, fuck off. I knew you were going to say Daily Mail. Why? I knew what you were Who else say? would I say? Hey, hey, News.com.au. Sydney Morning Herald, as if they'd give a flying fuck or know who anyone is. Daily Mail's the only papped place in Australia. I'm sure there's plenty of places you get a pap. Well, no, there were no papping. There was some, some pashing, though. What? There's plenty of places in Australia to get a pap. That's how vaginal health is. I mean, I don't know what. Sorry, you meant the smear. Yes, I was sorry. I wasn't talking sorry. razzi. I was talking smears. Right. Sorry. I thought you were talking razzies, not smears. So sorry. As if I'd be talking paparazzi. I'm all, if I'm talking paps, you're talking I'm smears. talking smears. So Louisa. sorry. I'm so sorry. That's Dad. fine. Absolutely sorry. No, it's all right. It's a misunderstanding. It's never, okay. never let it happen again, but it's absolutely just know fine. if I'm talking paps. It's, it's the smears. It's, it's not the, the razzies. It's the smears. Okay. Well, they were neither on the 10 day date. Devastating. Mm. But you, you, please continue. Uh, I, well, please continue with your story. Well, what else would you like to know? Well, you were, you were middle. I think I interrupted you midway through a story, didn't I? Oh well, no, I forgot it. Because you were walking, doing hot laps, right? Oh look, Josh, the whole ten days blurs into one. It was a great ten days. Sounds like it. It was a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of laughs. A lot, a lot of, laughs. of giggles. A lot of giggles. A lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. We played a bit of um, Monopoly. Okay. Twister come out? We Twist, did the game Twister come out? We, we actually went to the game store and we got categories and I thought, should we get <coughs> Twister? But then I thought, I only play Naked Twister with you and Steph. That is true. I would have been hurt. 
I know you would have. So I thought, suddenly it's all. Keep that. To, there's certain things you keep out of the 10 day day. That's I've always and I've, that's an that's an old ad. I've always said that. There's certain things and it's 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 naked twister. You know that that's you, keep, me and you Steph keep thing. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if it was a 20 day date, I might let it slide. Yeah. 10 days, not enough, kid. One thing I have to tell the bedwetters that they'll love about this. Farmer. He's a good country boy. Not a finance bro. Which is what I've been pushing on this pod since day dot, have I not, yep. Louisa? Now, this is why we got on. He's a good country fucking boy. Yeah, we fucking love the country. All right. And we just had. We fucking, we <clears throat> just chat about fucking. What do you, what do you reckon? Drafts and yeah, rousing. Yeah, yeah. Well, fucking <laughs> the, the, the shares and the. What do you reckon else? We sheep. About? Cows. Yeah. Cows. Horses, beer, yeah. meat, yep. pokies. Right. Puss. Okay. <laughs> puss. That's all you guys spoke about at the Rojo. <laughs> well, I actually said maybe we don't talk about puss because that will be <laughs> the puss of my co <laughs> <laughs> So let's just maybe refrain, refrain from that sort of yarn for a while. That's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely we've only fair known each other. Four hours. So we might, let's just. We'll keep that one. You guys can keep that to your second day. <laughs> yeah. That's your first day. Yeah, correct. Correct. But, yeah, very, very funny that you, the, 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 you know the Grinch that stole Christmas? You're mm-hmm. like the Grinch when it comes to uh, showing affection. It's just almost sociopathic. The fact that you um, <laughs> I spent 10 days. I know. With someone and enjoyed it. And someone in my bed. You know how much I love my bed to myself. Well, now let's answer a question for all the bedwetters. Did mummy, you're definitely mummy in this situation, by the way. Did mummy remove her koalas from her bedroom or were the Kevins? I think both Kevins came out within about six hours of day one. Jesus. And then, do you know what You know, I've got two, I've got my two eye masks. I've got my night cunts, mm-hmm. which I think is kind of funny. Like you can get away with being like, oh, I've got to sleep with an eye mask. So first night I'm wearing night cunts. I think second night I even had night cunts on. I had ke- both Kevins both times. He was even cuddling one of the Kevins. By the third night I go, fuck it. I got to wear my ugly mask. The one with like, the goggles. <laughs> fucking <laughs> he hell. Said, he just wake up some mornings. I've just got Kevin. Like <laughs> I've just got Kevin, like he's it's just like a full bear grip on Kevin like this. And I've got this eye mask on, I'm just like So are you telling me So are you telling me like in the start of a relationship, you should be wearing pretty much only lingerie and he should be wearing like Calvin Klein undies that perfectly mm. uh wrap up his package. Yep. You should both go to bed looking like both male and female models. You telling me within Six hours, you're wearing a fucked up eye mask, holding a toy. He's already plucked the hair out of your chin, removed snot from your nose like a baby, and now you're there cuddling a fucking soft toy with a fucked up, probably in, can I be honest? Matching top and bottom pyjamas? Judge, I was naked. (laughs) (laughs) Somehow makes it worse. Kevin's like <laughs> See, look, look, nah, yeah, that's that's redemption. That, <laughs> that is redemption. <laughs> Holy dooly. Oh, oh good fuck. stuff. Oh. And now we're back. Well, yeah, we're back. And you know, we've we've laughed and we've had a good holiday. We've laughed, we've loved. We, we've You in love? Ja, don't ask me those questions <laughs> after ten days, please. <laughs> Save that for date 20. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> well, should we play a bit of, um, should we play a bit of red light, green light for the Please. crew? Please. Maybe. We absolutely must, I think we start Jack. off the. I think we start off the first one with a fucking, um, with a bit of red light, green light. It feels right. It feels right. We had to clap because Jack was being very inappropriate. Now, listen up. Hey, Let's do I'm a bit listening. of red light, green light. So now you got to do the intro. Wow. Do it as a do it as a like punk rock. Do it as a punk rock 
singer, but not like Rawr, do it as like um. I've got it. Like where are you? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're time for red light, green light. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my, you know how they do the punk rock song? Yeah. Remember that song? Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my You tried head. to sing this before, bruh. Oh. Isn't that some Kinada? Shut the fuck up. Isn't that some Kiwi band? Nah, she oh. was Scottish. Sandy Tom. Sandy Tom? What was the song Weird we tried so long to figure out? Was it, I'm not going to write you a love song? No, no was it was your name. I'm a new you soul, I tend to this change world. Okay. Daddy's going first. You know why daddy's going first? Because mummy's come unprepared. That is not true. She's come that unprepared. That is not true. She has no notes. Mummy got a new phone and mummy is locked out of her Gmail. So Google, if you're listening, mummy needs help. And, and if you're worried who mummy is, that's that's I, Louisa Claire Delden. So I'm, I'm mummy, by the way. She is mummy, by the way, Google. But, she, I mean, I've come with just notes and just stories from the holidays. Hey, and hey, the I've come with theories. Champion. Hold on, champion. I'm mid-sent. Now, now, and and I thought, you know who'll come prepped? You know who will? The usual prepper, LDD. Yeah. She's waltzed in the 2024. She's been on a 10-day love binge. She's got flowers in her fucking hair. She's walking around, oh, whatever, I'll show up and do whatever I want. I'm floating on a little cloud of unpreparedness. So I will go first. Well, hey. Because yours little, are all old. That little cloud of unpreparedness could still trump your prepping, chieftain. That's one of the best points you've ever made. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Red light. Red light, green light. Oh, there's a sniff. I know what this Because I means. know the reaction I'm about to get from you. Adults building Lego. I'm, I'm going to do an orange here. Why? I thought you would be vehemently against this. No, because... I can see it. It's like my colouring in. I can see it being very therapeutic. Okay, Lulu. I don't. I don't think there's an age limb on, on your on your cousering in or your <laughs> or your or your leg going. Cousering, yeah. notoriously not shortening shortening the syllables. You know, like you've seen how good I've now become, buddy. Listen, I don't want to hear it. Some of the shit you were sending for the holidays, I actually I showed my mum. And I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm a bit worried about Lou. Did you think it was that bad? I, and mum was like, it's fucking shocking. <laughs> Your sweet angel mother but of the North could, said that. Because, but she made a great distinction. When you show, when you sent me your colouring in, shock horror, we've gone on a complete tangent. When, she, she sent, when you sent me your colouring in, using an adult's book that's mm -hmm. actually intricate designs, I was like, okay, okay. It was much better. This is much better. Lou, you're a colouring in a book for five-year-olds. Three-year-olds, think <laughs> Three-year-olds. I think Ben Wetters in the comments also made that distinction. Being like, like she's colouring in something that fucking infants are supposed to colour in. Like, what the fuck? How is that supposed to be good? But when I coloured in that lemon and that lime and that orange, that was Angelo, Michelangelo stuff. It was Angelo. It was... I, I did the shading, although my bed made a very valid point. They go, since when is the fucking lemon colour in the middle brighter than the outside of the lemon? Because I did like bright yellow as the inside of the lemon. <laughs> the outside was like pale. Tremendous point. <laughs> but I guess it's because artistic fucking freedom. Me, you know? I only say this because I went pretty ham on Christmas this year. You got yourself some fresh leggings. Well, I got some... Uh, correct. But I got... I knew I wasn't probably going to get that many gifts this year because I wasn't having Christmas with my family. Yes. Well, and I got you something, but you got me nothing in return. <laughs> I Do you know what? I actually... You got me something alcoholic and you drank it. I did get you some. I just don't have it. I had it. I had it. I actually had it here when you gave me this, I believe, or whatever presents. When you gave me those rings. Hmm. That was in the boot of my car. So I had it. Now, I don't have it, but I have you it. You just opened the boot up and it's just you pulling the fingers at me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but I just was like, oh, probably not going to get that many presents this year. So I'm like, you know what? I've seen a lot of these, like the, these American football players and a lot of these people who were like these fully grown adult men 
who are building Lego. Mm. And I go, you know, I like that sort of shit. I used to love that sort of shit. Walked into the fucking Lego shop in Bondi, Bondi Junction. And there was the millennia, the, the, the uh, fucking, sorry, the Back to the Future car, the DeLorean. Oh, yeah. And I go, fuck it. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be home pre-Christmas for a couple of days. I'm going to get myself a little present. The weather was going to be inclement. It was not going to be good weather. It was going to be rainy and fucked. I'm like, I might just pour a fucking whiskey, sit down and just rip into this. It was, un- I-, I couldn't stop. It was that fun. It was like, I-, I was enamored by it. And it was just, it took, I just put some fucking tunes on or just had the TV going and mate, I was just fucking. You sold me. Fully enveloped. You sold me. I'm going to go buy the Hogwarts castle. Dude, because your brain doesn't even think about anything else. You know how when you're doing something like your brain's – like I'm watching telly but I'm watching my fucking phone at the same time and I'm like there's so much so much stimulation. When I was doing this, all I could think about was that. Yeah. It was mad. Well, so I'm big green light. I, I I'm, guess, a new, I'm, a, I'm a new Lego guy. Well, you've sold me I'm a green now. But you won't be able to do that now that we're back to work. You'll be flat out, Jack. <laughs> Tell them. I mean, what am I going to do mean, between the two times sorry. we record this podcast? Like, you, you have no time to make the car. I mean, we record... Ju- I just... Which is killing me. You're going to have to put some time aside to build the car. No, I'll wait for next Christmas when I next have time off. Well, I was going to say, you know, like, you might have an hour on a Saturday morning, but then... Oh, I don't you, think You're so. flat out filming content. Lulu, it is... I mean, you haven't done eight ads in a row for beer brands. <laughs> you just... You flat tack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> on the Punnels and Dribblers page. One of those, so, the Punnels and Dribblers. Shout out to so Alice Sport Podcast, Tom and Eddie. The Punnels and Dribblers page. So their fan group, who also uh, intercrosses with our, uh, the Bedwetters as well. We got a yeah. few of them. Fucking, they said that I'm like the the infinity the infinity gauntlet. I'm trying to collect all the fucking infinity stones with their beer. <laughs> You've got Carlton <laughs> Dry. You've Keepers. got. I got Coopers, yeah. I got Han, I got Bundy Ram, I got fucking. But it's all the shit that I love. That's what I mean. You're doing what you do. I mean, you're an alcoholic. It's perfect for you. Well, let's retract that. Sorry. You love to have a drink or two at the pub with your friends and go home. Thank you. And that is what I do. Respo- drink responsibly. Drink very, very responsibly. <coughs> <coughs> so you're green light for Lego. Yeah, I'm, I'm going um, green as well. You've sold me because Better I, came in with a, I came in with an Ozza. It was an orange jack. Right. Okay, sorry. And Ozzy Osbourne. Now let me just go into my notes because... Yeah, you're prepped up. <clears throat> Red light, green light. I've probably done this one before. Peeing in the shower. You've done it. Fuck it. Tell me your answer. Rather a waffle stomp. <laughs> Always said it. Have you ever shed? No. <laughs> do you know anyone who has uh, shed in the you know, shower? Uh, can I spin a quick yarn? Y- what? Something happened when you and I were drinking. You've got a shart story that you haven't told. When? When I was drinking. You and I got drunk early, Dece- middle of December, and there was a shart story that you were meant to tell. Or was I meant to tell? Weren't you meant to tell? Nah, it? Nah, nah, <laughs> no, no, because I haven't sharted. Neither have I. Well, then we must be wrong. You have. You, you did. You told me this. Lou, I, I fucking forgot. I don't. You did. I thought you had one. No. You did shart. No, I, well, I don't have a story. I thought you sharted. You fucking sharted. I did not check Edward Archdale. Oh. I did not shart. Lou, th- because now I'm getting memories Weren't we sitting yeah, at that we? table at the fucking light brigade and then you were spinning some shart yarn and <laughs> I I cannot – did I write this down? I, I think you've sharted. No, I have not. I thought you would sharted. You know, you know you have because you acted so awkwardly. <laughs> Lou sharted. Lou sharted. What I, have I got here? Sh- because I definitely didn't shart. I, Charge, I did not shart. Go back uh, to the thing in the shower. Yeah, she wants to go back. The old, the old ten day love affair might end abruptly. She's not reaching eleven when she's sharting everywhere. He's already had to pick a fucking hair out of her chin, pick her boogers, fucking sleep with her with an eye mask and a teddy. Sharting is sorry. It's, it's as much as I can do, Lou. Um, now did not shart. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll save you here. So one of my mates. Mm-hmm. 
who shall not be named. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, big fella. Well, tell us his name is what he, what he rhymes with. Shitty. Coincidentally enough. You know what? It doesn't matter. I, we call him Critty. Crit- My mate Critty. Okay. Poor cunt. So at school, he was having, he was doing like a trial thing at school. I think to see whether he liked it, you know, he'd come in fucking like year nine or something like that, like a bit later, and just to see if he liked the school and it fit with him or whatever. Anyhow, this actually happened. Dave Liston was in the shower next to him. They're in the showers. The divider's in the showers and he's new and Critty's trying to fit in. He's trying to fit in with everyone, be cool, like the cool, funny guy that he is. He's a fucking legend. Mm -hmm. Really fucking good bloke. So, (laughs) Dave's standing there showering, soaping up, having a great little thing. And then, you know those little soap trays? Then a little soap tray just gets pushed under his shower with a nugget of shit on it. (laughs) And he looks down (laughs) and he goes, (laughs) what the fuck? And then Critty's there. He's like, do you get a little present under there? (laughs) I was like, what the fuck? He'd done a shit into a little soap train and pushed it under, thinking that'd be a funny this cool was my, thing. In what, in what universe is that a funny gag? Well, that's, He's a little bit of shit. That's where Dave said, um, I don't fucking know who you are. <laughs> um, why am I currently looking at your fecal matter I'd in a fucking... I prefer your little turd yeah. to not be under in my shower. Look, I'm trying to get clean here. I'd prefer not to have your shit stinking up the... Sta- What's the matter, buddy? A, sorry, there's a spider crawling. No, there's not. No, I, I come... Get up slowly and come look. I can see him. Pull it down. <laughs> oh, come now. Jesus. <laughs> it's not even a spider. It was. It's just there. It is a spider. What do you mean it's not even a spider? Oh my, you just killed an animal live. No, I did not kill an I'm animal. So I flicked sorry, him. Peter. I flicked him back into the universe of spider I'd webs. actually, weirdly enough, called him Peter as well. Just just, just then I'd named him Peter. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> do you know what's my oh, favourite? They do some rain doing. Also, we're, this is our last red light growing light. We're going straight to the whole line. We've no, just talk, been talking absolutely yeah, shit. Yeah, correct. But let me say something. We went to get coffees, me and the um, 10 day date boy. And he said his name, and it's like the polar opposite to this. And the guy goes, Peter? <laughs> I fucking love when that happens. Oh, dude. Oi, I've got a – I saw this on another podcast. I was scrolling through and I saw this on a podcast, and I thought it'd be perfect for this podcast. It's going to be very quick. It's just a joke. Okay. So you're a thief now. I'm a, I'm stealing this joke, but I want it to be known that I am stealing this joke. Yeah. With thieves. I've saw, I've seen this on a podcast, just know. He sourced it from another podcast. Wherever I saw this. I've taken it. I've taken it. I cannot remember who it was, what it was, but I saw it. I'm stealing it. Go. I've got a joke that's gonna absolutely knock your tits off. Oh fuck, you must have already heard it. I instantly went. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Impossible. Oh. That's a good one. I thought it was a ripper. It's very good. Sorry now, for stealing it, but soz not soz. <laughs> soz not soz. I haven't prepped a thing. And you tried to give me shit for not being able to log into my Gmail. If anyone out there's a tech guru, guru and can help me out with that, I love nothing about hand. her Gmail, but tell you someone who knows a little about her G spot. Jack Edward Archdale. What did I say? That is. What did I say? You're so naughty. You are a hello, hello. Naughty there we go. Bitch. All right. Well, who's a naughty little bitch? I'm a naughty little bitch. Bedwetters. We'll be back in a second with the hotline. Three, two, two one. we're off air. Fuck, Dior. Get this bitch. Can honestly, she's fucking me off this episode. Someone sort her out. Yeah, yeah. We'll get onto that. Don't worry. She's getting her pay docked. You should have played into it like we actually hate each other off. Well, I was going to go, uh, sorry, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be better next time. <laughs> okay. No, you don't fucking speak until I tell you can. Guys, I can't work like this. <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking. No, no I'm fucking done. I thought the break had fucking fuck it. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I thought the break. No, ja- I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. 
Let's just go back and see. Let's just go back and see if. Oh yeah, we got a few on Christmas Day. Let's do some Christy Day ones, eh? All righty. Good morning, Christmas senoritas. I just thought I would give you a little buzz as I have uh, parked my car, Lou, and my phone is uh, up to my ear. But I'm driving wow. to my stepsister's house for Christmas, and there's going to be ten nieces and nephews there. So I thought. I'd listen to the potty first, get a little bit delusional, and then I'll just, you know, jump straight into the manic that is being auntie. But I hope my favourite little senoritas have the best Christmas. Uh, keep pissing and catch your cunts. Love pissing. that. And that is a prime example of how good quality audio can sound. I think Bedwitters, a lot of them sound great. If you're listening, Bedwitters, that is – what would you say that – what are they – what's it like? It's like a um, uh, the, the model or like the art, you know? It's like the, you know the word I'm looking for. Come the on, epitome. No, like the. I think Dio's right. Like the showcase, like the, and this is what you 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 aspire to be. Right. So what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiots. Love that you're asking me. <laughs> the biggest dipshit here. Um, fucking embodiment. No, is yeah. it role model? Embodiment. That's the embodiment of what the call yeah, should be. Right. Okay. Well, but that's what you want, bed winners. Oh, do you know I did a fuck it? No, fuck that. Oi, do you, what was that photo that was on that TV, the last one? What? That screensaver. It, no, the last one before that. Get your ADHD know, brain back yeah, to the fucking I'm hotline. Work. I'm not fucking watching TV. Sorry, it was just incredible. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Was it just, Jack? No, Jack. <laughs> Why don't you describe it, it to us? Was it just incredible? Was it, if it was incredible, we must know. No, Louisa. No, Jack. It was just to die for. Oh, and. You know, darling, you've been working so hard. I just, <clears throat> and I think in, you should take three months off in the middle you of know, this year. I was thinking, I was planning on going to Europe for another trip. What do you think? I think I deserve no, you've that. You've earned it. I've earned darling, it, darling. You have been busting your guts. It's just, it's it's. Uh, I, I'm, I'm flat out. I'm so. You know what? I think maybe we should take another, another break post Christmas because I just think we just. It's, it, this has been a lot. It's too much. <laughs> Okay. It's just amazing. This will be a good one, I reckon. Merry Christmas, you naughty little senorita motherfuckers. Lou, suck me off. Yeah, <laughs> fucking love you, cunt. Excuse good. me? No, nah, it's good to have a bit of old school Lou hate back from like the first Remember when days. early on? <laughs> Can we bring back when early, if, oh. early, everyone would call up and go, G'day, boys? How are you, G'day, lads? Boys. G'day, ladies. How you going, boys? That was good stuff. Uh, let's do another Christmas one because I'm feeling I'm feeling the Christmas. No, I'm I'm the Grinch. Further than go to the 29th. I like that. God, this Rolex is time spins very quickly. <laughs> Bit different to my one. <laughs> well, now it's just you've got a mind of its own. It's going woo. She's a rich girl and she's gone too far because you know it don't, don't matter anyway. anyway. You, you can, can rely, rely on, on the old man's, man's money. money. You can rely on your influencer money. She's a rich girl. <laughs> hey, coming from the man who's collecting all beers. <laughs> Beerfinity stones. Okay, let's hear. 29th. Hello, senorita. Excuse me, senorita. We're just wondering if anyone on the Gold Coast wants to root. Because <laughs> mummy, mummy wants to root. And just to clarify... We're mummy, by the way. Oh, can't love them. And Judge, you never break up. Just fucking plant them again. What did he say? And actually, to be honest, Lou, if you want to root, plant him, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Love you. Bye. Holy shit. If anyone's on the Gold Coast, I know that was the 29th. Some girls are keen. If anyone's on the Gold Coast, you'll be fucking, you're on like Donkey Kong to get the chongs on. Get it, ladies. They, okay, now they go. wanted a piece of both pies. Love it. I'm happy with that. I am. Well, it's I a have compliment to recently both. got engaged. So you won't be. Lou is not far off. <laughs> so, so, but really respect it. And I hope, you know what? I hope they got some. I hope both of you got your guts rearranged. Jack now, Edward let's Archdale, have a look at what. That is just a phrase we will not be using in 2024. Sorry. Say, I hope you made love. I hope you made sweet, sweet, tender love with anyone. Uh, I hope a thousand blossoms bloomed. 
I mean, <laughs> but I won't be spending any time on it because every three months someone gets torn to pieces by a crocodile in northern Queensland. Do you know that? Oh, it's the politician. Bob Cutter. Bob Cutter. <laughs> I mean, let a thousand blossoms blow. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay. Let's see this one. Hey, bedwetters. Um, bedwetter here from Brisbane. I've got a bit of a bedwetting story. So, um, long story short, I came home blackout <laughs> from a night out. And mind you, I'm still living at home with the parents. And I nearly set my house on fire by accidentally peeing in the light socket. <laughs> it shorted my whole house and all of the power went out. And we couldn't figure out why. Until the next morning when we realised there was water in the light socket. So she's just, really she's pissed the light socket. I have on fire because <laughs> I was so black out and I peed in a light socket. She's popped a squat on the socket. Haru. She's popped a socket. Well, there'd have been one on the wall or one on the floor. You know, like a extension cord? Good question. Because on the wall, I feel like the angle you're peeing at. But it's a surely bit different from she's what, getting electrocuted. Surely it has to be like she's on the wall pissing and it's dripping down in, into it. Would that, if you pissed on it, would that yeah. touch and come back if you're the stream so strong that you'd get electrocuted? Well, you would assume so. Because but I feel like a stream is different for a female and a male. I feel like it'd be more likely for you to get electrocuted. I think that if you were to piss in a light socket, surely you're getting electrocuted. It does say... Uh, Water conducts electricity like there's nothing else. Mm. Yeah, it says it's rare, but there have been cases where usually men have been shocked when an electrical current travelled up his stream. Oh, imagine that up your cock. God. Would you die? You probably could. You probably could. Imagine that. She shorted the whole house on pissing in the socket. Doing it, do, what's it called? A eulogy and <laughs> R.I.P. to... It's a, a urinji. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. R.I.P. Very good. Rest in piss. She was always, she was a great pisser. Rest in pee. Rest God, in pee. What a eulogy. Apparently Mythbusters did an episode about electrocuting yourself with piss. I'll be watching that when I get yeah. home, Dior. They named that episode Piss Busters, I believe. They did. And and it's, it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't ghosts, it was piss. What? Sorry? Sorry. <laughs> Do you think the Mythbusters I took is all about ghosts or something? No, or? but you know the ones where they wear the backpacks and they go hunting the ghosts. But you've got those a, are Ghostbusters. You've got a vacuum and you're sucking up piss. They're Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm well aware. All right, give me one from Saturday. Saturday. What date was that? Sixth. Yep. That was Lily's birthday. Yep. Happy birthday, no, Lily. Yeah, hers was the Friday. F- Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Saturday was the next day. Champ. <laughs> hey boys. Hey boys, how are we? Um, we don't know if we're a bit late to the party, yeah. but we can't seem to find a uh, photo of Fat Lou. Yeah, little Fat Lulu. Oh, um, oh I think duh. it's important that you do disclose this. Yeah. Uh, we need a visual. Uh, yeah, we cannot find it fucking anywhere. Yeah, need to please pin do it. this. Anyway. <laughs> Bedwetters for life. Bedwetters for life. There is. We will happily upload a photo of little eight-year-old. I think we've done many, but I do know for a fact that if you scroll down to the early days, there's a photo. Our first roast. There's Fat Lou, chinless jar. These those photos right there. Speaking of the roast, third roast. I think it's 2024 calls for the third roast. Uh The toast. Well, I reckon we've been going for about an hour and a half. No, I'm going to do one. No, I'm going to do one now that just come in. Okay, God. Sup, cunts. Um, Louisa Dowden, I don't want to hear no shit, you mad senior router, about being on speakerphone because last time I called and I was off speakerphone and I passed the phone to Phoebe over here, I accidentally punched her in the face. So we've decided to go with speakerphone to um, limit <laughs> the injury yeah, quota. Um, we just wanted to say congratulations to Dart T. Fuck you and Steph are so cute. Um, how'd it happen? You're probably going to cover that. I hope you're recording. We miss you. Get her. She's so hot. Yeah, yes. Really, I think you've, you've known that. We also had a few questions. Um, um, okay. Love ya. It's good stuff. Very it's good. good. It's healthy stuff. Thank you so well, much. perfect because we bloody covered that in the first 10 minutes, didn't we? Covered that in the first 10 <laughs> minutes. Isn't that fate? And I'm very sorry that bedwetters that um, 
I'm more than happy for you to be on speaker. I'm sorry that Lou is wishing no, violence so, upon you. So sorry, guys. We won't be having that in 2024. It'll be off speakerphone as per usual. And so you know, sorry. Because, Judge, I used to work in breakfast radio, if you didn't know. So. <laughs> sorry? Yes. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what? I. Lu- me, me, Louisa Clear dialed in. I was, I was in breakfast radio. D- you look so shocked. I, I think we need to. End. Oh, we got. We need to start do, discuss this. Do you want me to tell you on the way home? Well, you haven't fucking told me. No. I'll, t- I'll tell Mate, you. The, you're supposed to tell me everything. I'll tell you the entire. Sorry, but we've got to. We've got to go. We've got, got to go. Talk uh, about. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. I'll, t- I pro- I'll tell you everything. What the fuck about All breakfast right. radio. Fuck, bedwetters. So sorry, I um, I told you that. Great to be back. So good to be back. We've good fucking good. missed you. Fucking missed you. I um, hope you enjoyed the app and we'll be seeing a lot more of you and hopefully Mwah. you'll be seeing a lot more of us. We love the lot of you. Hooroo. Mwah, Mwah, my sweet angel. So happy to be there. Love you. Bye-bye. I can't believe you're on fucking breakfast. Yeah, well, that would check. Let's go. Let's talk about breakfast radio.